Oh snap, what's up Citizen Zone? It's just another pleasant day for me, but I think it might be a little bit different for our friends in the government, right? So we're still dealing with this annexion snafu, but I got my NASA shirt on because NASA just had another big day today, or was it SpaceX? I can't really make sense between the two companies anymore since space is going so private nowadays but yeah it looks like they put four mother suckers up into space yesterday and they should be making their way to the place that they need to be here within the next like hour or two is at least what i'm just thinking and i mean that's good news to think about going into the future i know we got the space force and this election thing is kind of putting all that stuff into question isn't it because i'm seeing videos all over the place of joe biden basically kind of moving forward with his uh office of the president elect and uh saying we need to get trump's transition going on because the slower that it's happening meaning that that's gonna take a lot longer and more people are gonna die and all this stuff and it's just like um well they already had a plan for the vaccination. They had the plan Warp Speed, Operation Warp Speed. It seems to be going pretty well. So I don't really get where they're coming from on this particular thing. But it's like, you know, we got to at least take the wins when they're coming in. Because there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Like we have people still getting COVID. I'm quarantined still. This is like day seven of the quarantine. And, you know, so far I don't feel too bad. But... At the same time, you know, you got to do it because that's the law. And I mean, it messes up with a whole lot of different things. I mean, even if you are working from home, it's still like a crazy situation for people to deal with. I've just been hanging out outside and hanging out with the puppy and trying to figure out what's going on with her. Come here, Lungy. She's just been doing good as well. I've just been kind of hanging with her a lot because she's about all we got. She's like, no, I don't want to be like this, daddy. Oh, you want to go back down? You want to go back down? Anyways, yeah, even Lunchy's kind of fed up with the whole election talk. I've been watching Glenn's show pretty religiously, and, I mean, they're talking wartime. This is wartime. This is when we're going to be taking people down, and this is when we should be fighting. But the question is, is, like, what are we fighting for? Are we fighting for Donald Trump? Are we fighting for the Republican Party? Is the Republican Party even worth saving? So many freaking questions. Should there be another party that comes up that's going to take it up? I mean, all I know right now is that everybody's focused on meddling. And in 2016, everybody said that there was foreign influence in the election, and I was supposed to believe it. Now, people are saying the exact same thing, and I'm supposed to not believe it. And I don't really know who to come to or who to talk to in that particular situation. As it seems, I'm seeing a lot of characters that have uh, gotten big over the gestation period of the Anon, known as Q, in... All of a sudden, I'm starting to see, like, news media channels put on some of these guys associated with it. And I have to question whether these channels are even going to be good channels. Because if we remember, part of the reasoning behind that was to find whether we were going to have good or bad news outlets and sources. And I keep on hearing the name Sydney Powell going all over the place people keep on saying she's got some big bombing that's gonna be happening with the dominion systems and you best just watch out because it's gonna be a crazy time but i'm not really seeing anything crazy coming out of that time so to speak all i am really seeing is just another weird situation that's a brewing because we still haven't really gotten any pertinent information evidence that shows that the systems were hacked. Okay, we've heard like information that it, it was being routed through CIDL systems in a foreign country, but you know, was this all the votes? Was this specific votes? Was this only the votes that were connected to the internet? Meaning when those systems were connected to the internet, this is a big question that we should be asking ourselves because that's the focus on what's moving forward right because if they actually found something that says that votes were flipping a script that was blocking certain votes at the network level as opposed to the local level which make would make it a lot more difficult for people to investigate because you know they could go and look at all the logs from the local machines and everything would look fine it would be the send 
to the servers that was actually being the problem. But then again, there's supposed to be safeguards in place with USB drives and paper ballots and so on and so forth that is supposed to stop this from happening. It makes you wonder that why the Democrats didn't bring all this stuff up in 2016 or 2017 and kind of focus on election security if they were so worried about elections getting hacked and now you know here we are just because it's donald trump people are saying that it's kind of whack and you know oh it's never going to be a thing that didn't happen it's not the thing you're crazy do you get where i'm coming on this one it, it i'm coming from like the dual realities approach where i'm kind of seeing what the democrats are saying and i'm seeing what the republicans are saying and i'm not saying that they're both wrong but i mean I'm really hoping that if the the Kraken is really getting released, then, you know, what's it going to be? Because that thing's usually going to have lots of arms and tentacles, and it's usually one big attack. And, I mean, that sounds very deep state-ish to me, you know, like deep state, you know, underground. I mean, I don't get it why they went with that iconography, but maybe they just did it because it's supposed to be like a call to arms for people because that's what like most of the left is taking it as and i mean with the issues that we just had at the march for trump in dc we could tell that you know yeah there was a lot of proud boys out there that were fighting for themselves and for freedom because all of these counter protesters came at them but at the same time a lot of people got arrested and you know it kind of defeated the whole purpose of a gathering that we were talking about in the first place and this is the thing is you know once we start having these mass gatherings that makes them a perfect target for the insurgents counter protesters to come in and create drama and mischief and then the way the news media is always going to report it is that it was a violent gathering and that's exactly how we've seen it. I mean, I have people on Facebook that are trolling me over this shit. So here we are, you know, like there should be a transition, but there isn't any transition. Nothing's being put together. Nothing's being faced forward. And we're still waiting on information of whether this election was legitimate or not. And I mean, half the country is saying it was half the country is saying it wasn't. And Sidney Powell's out there saying release the Kraken and who knows what all of that shit means. Either way, I think what the future holds for us is very clouded at the particular juncture. I mean, we're not really going to get any good information until Monday, right? Because Monday has got to be the day that the big bomber comes out because, wait, isn't that today? Where's it at? I thought we were going to get a big bomber today. Is it tomorrow? Is it the next day? I'm starting to worry about it a little bit. I don't know, though. You let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for following the Citizen Zone. You can become a member by clicking the join button. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Adios, much love, and see you again on the next one.